Days in time, and today I'll be opening up my Infinite Rebirth a booster box for you guys. Of course, this is booster set 15. Uh, sorry if I uh, <coughs> cough a little bit. I uh, don't know why, but it's just like my throat is very parched, so yeah. So let's go ahead and get into this and see what we can pull. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out my sneak peek opening. I did pull quite a few awesome cards from that, so yeah, go ahead and check that out if you can. And of course, that is where I got this awesome mat. So let's go ahead and crack into this box. I really love the artwork for the set, or like uh, the way they decide to do the art. And looks like to be an advertisement for the upcoming Legion stuff, and Buddy Fight as well as White Schwartz, which looks pretty cool. So I guess we have this inside every box. Kind of wish they would give a promo card, but I guess that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up. Let's see if I can actually tilt the camera a little bit so we can display this. So yeah, let's go ahead and start with the right side. Why not? Alright, that's everything. I wonder if they can open up from the bottom regular. Start the video takes some time as I do kind of want to conserve the packs. Alright, so we have a little advertisement for white shorts. That is just interesting in that. And yeah, let's go ahead and start off with the first pack. And you're not going to name off the comments to save some time, so if you guys... Hopefully it's clear enough that you guys can just see them. And our first rare is White Rainbow Liberator Balan, which is pretty cool if you're running a Blaster Blade deck. It's your damage on flipper for once you call a Blaster Blade to a rear guard. By any means. Alright, they, they open from the bottom, but not that as well as the previous sets I've opened, so yeah, probably gonna stop doing that. Next pack. Ooh, Mega Colony. Ooh, 10k. Heal for Aqua Force. And a rare Nightmare Doll Carol. You're gonna go ahead and cut this because I do want to save the pack art for certain ones. Next pack looks like we have something already. So we have a uh, Revenger, more Revenger stuff, uh, draw trigger for League Jokers, and nice Dragonic Overlord, the Breaker Eye, triple rare. Awesome, definitely one of the good, good triple rares in the set. And again, I don't know if there's any really bad triple rares either. I mean, pretty much everything in the set is relatively good. So yeah. So machining. Ooh, heal for Mega Colony. And uh, Taboo Starvator Rubidium is our rare. I believe that's the one where when your opponent attacks uh, Link Joker Vanguard, you can direct the attack towards one of your reverse units in your rear guard. So pretty cool. Next pack. We have a Eternal Bringer Griffin. I don't know where I read. Mega Colony. And this is a Marine Fall Dragon Rare. Don't have this card yet, so that's pretty cool. Next pack. Alright. The 10k for Blue Storms. Mega Colony. A very good card for Pale Moon, so Thorns right here. Stand Trigger for Aqua Force and a Wear Wily Revenger Mana. So I've gotten quite a few of hers from my sneak peek as well. So I think I actually have a full playset. And after reading her effect, she's actually pretty good. As I believe it's just once you place her on Rear Guard, you get to call out a Grade 1 or less Shao Paladin from your deck. So that could be very good. And I think it has to be Revenger though. So, uh, Link Joker Stand. And a starter for. Omega Glendios, World Lead, or World Line Dragon. Next pack. Ooh, I think I spoiled something. I think I'm pretty sure I know what it is as well. Stand for Mega Colony and a Liberate Holy Shine Dragon. Actually, might try to make this deck as it seems to be pretty fun. Been testing out on Card Fight area. Uh, otherwise, I didn't really want it as much as. 
since I'm trying to mainly collect the set instead of really build any decks from it. I was hoping to get some of the other double rares which I have not yet pulled. Next pack. Tishini. Uh, Lake Joker. Stand. And 12k for Mega Colony. Uh, Mega Colony is also a very cool deck from the set that uh, you can that I've been testing out in. It's really fun, especially with the Break Ride. And it just makes Machinings even more competitive, so very good as well. Hopefully I can pull like their break ride or something because that's one card I definitely need for my collection. Uh, Liberate. Another stand trigger for machines. And a rare Silver Fang Witch Fodia. Um, so basically that's the first witch card for Shadow Palins I think like of kind of generally the sub clan that they created. I know like they have the Witch of or Nostrum or whatever but I feel like this is technically really the first one. But it's not as good, in my opinion. Uh, other units. Looks like we have something. Nope. It's just rare. Uh, Starry Skies Liberator Guinevere. It's actually pretty cool. It's kind of like a quintet. You counter blast one, you place it on your rear guard. For each of your rear guards you have, it gets plus 5,000 shield. So if you, it can have the potential of being a 30k shield. So pretty nice, in my opinion. Especially if you don't want to drop your P guards in certain occasions. Uh, heal for Mega Colony and a rare Blue Storm Proud Princess Crystal Elizabeth. Two more packs left on the right side. Haven't really pulled much out of the right, so hopefully, all the good stuff will be on our left side. But of course, two we did pull, in my opinion, are pretty good as well. So, yeah. Next pack. Another heal for Aqua Force and a triple rare Star Vader Reverse Cradle. Nice. Not sure if he's one of the pricier cards in the set, but definitely an awesome triple rare, especially if you're planning to make that Glendios deck. Pretty sure you need him, or at least he's a key player. Next pack. Uh, Hell Moon, or Silverthorn. Uh, Blue Storms, and Dragon Dancer heal. Looks pretty nice. And Star Vera Code Death Dragon as a rare. Very nice card. <laughs> On to our left side. First pack on the left side. Let's see what we're able to pull. Uh, Gigantic. More blue storms. Uh, blue storm crit. And a double rare Dragonic Burnout. So, very nice. Double rare on the first pack on the left side. So, I believe we should still have. Was it one more triple and three more doubles? To round out our double barreras and hires. Hopefully the eyes can see everything. Uh, Blue Storm Trit again. And reprint Curse Master. So now I have two copies from the box and my sneak peek together. So definitely plan to run those in the Shao Powden deck I'm trying to make right now. So yeah. Demon Roar 